Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Stickster. If you're watching this video when it comes out, Happy New Year. I wanted to show you something really cool in Falcon that I think a lot of people tend to overlook, which uh, is the whole variety of alternate waveforms that you can get in the wavetable oscillator. Now, I've got a really simple uh, arpeggiator set up here. I'm just going to hold down C1 so you can hear what it sounds like with the standard analog oscillator. I'm sure a lot of us are used to, you know, building a sawtooth bass just by dragging in that analog sawtooth oscillator and you'll get something like this. So what I'm going to show you instead is how the wavetable gives you a whole set of alternate waveforms that you can use. So I'm going to turn off this analog oscillator. I'm going to move over to the wavetable and turn it on. I'm going to show you where you find these. If you click in the selector and move up to sawtooth, you'll find that there's a whole set of different oscillators that you can use. Now the saw that you'll find here is the same as the analog oscillator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the very first one here, which is the CS15 saw, and you can hear how different that sounds. Very different from the standard saw. Okay, so I'm going to roll through some of these so you can hear uh, some of the different uh, tones that you can get. Um, the CS70 has a very pinched sound. Uh, the dinosaur is a little bit hairy. So very burbly when you add that resonance. The Mamie saw gives you just a little bit of grit. Very subtle. By the way, uh, if you're listening to this, you probably want to be wearing a good set of headphones or a studio monitoring setup or something so that you can hear things better than you would on, say, uh, your phone or a mobile device. Why didn't you tell me? Well, because I wanted us to fail. This MB saw gives you a nice little set of burble, but also a nice low end. MQ gives you a kind of a rounder sound. You can almost see that in the waveform. So I haven't changed the attack any. But it kind of gives you that, that boomy bassy sound. This OD saw is very pinched. P23. Gives you a bit of that growl, but also a nice full sound. The Portabella, this is a very hairy sort of uh, waveform. You can see that uh, just simply by looking at it. If you pile several of these together for a chord, you can get a really nice, nasty, distorted sort of sound uh, without having to drive it very hard. You can probably hear that in there even with the, yeah, even with the filter on, you can hear the higher harmonics that are coming through. This primal saw, very cool, almost like wave folded a bit. And then there's primal saw two which gives you, it's going to give you a very, very bassy sound. It's almost like there's a, uh, a half frequency sine wave folded into this. So you get this almost like a sub oscillator underneath it. Listen to this. Yeah, that can almost drive a whole track by itself. Uh, here's the standard saw again, so we'll skip that. No, actually, we'll run it so you can hear that how you know how this is exactly the same as the original. Yeah, so that's the same thing as you'd hear in the analog oscillators. This X10P is cool. It does give you kind of that bottom almost, but it's also got that upper nasal pitch. 
And then the expand saw, which is highly filtered, it's going to also it keeps a little bit of the low end, but it's going to have a very, very burbly sound. All right, so that's just a little tour through these different saw waves. Now, I want to show you that these are not the only alternative waveforms that you can get in the wavetable synth. And these come with Falcon. Uh, they're installed automatically for you, uh, along with all the other factory patches. You can find some very cool alternate sine waves here. Uh, there is a set of different square waves. Uh, what you're going to find also is that these square waves are basically uh, not width modulated. So they're going to be about, you know, 50-50 uh, 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 waveform when you look at them. But there is also a set of pulse waveforms, and these have various levels of of modulation. As you can see, the CS70 here, for example, uh, has a little bit of pulse width modulation here. And then it gets to, as you go through pulse width A, B, and C, it's more and more pinched sounding. Um, there's also a set of triangle waves uh, and some other things thrown in here as well. So I highly recommend that you check these out and use them in your next project. Now, just to give you a little taste of what this can be like, I'm going to stick with this expand saw and I'm going to turn on the drum loop that I have here so you can hear what it sounds like together. And I'm going to run through a couple of the waveforms. So you can hear what a difference that can make in your track. So I hope this gives you some ideas for your next project. So if you do make something using these tips, I hope you'll share it with the world because that's what creativity is all about. And I hope that you'll give a like and leave a comment down below. Let me know if there's something that you'd like to see in Falcon. Happy to do more videos like this. And until then, I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon and I'll see you next time.